Hello everyone, and welcome back to Subnautica. I, of course, Papa Grim Grim, and Grim Grin, blah, 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 sorry, can't even say my own name anymore. <laughs> but Papa Grim Grin here with you to, uh, you know, kind of finish this off a little bit. Like I said, I still have a few surprises cooked up. Uh, we definitely won't leave without saying goodnight, as it were. And, uh... Right now, we're headed back down into the deep dark, down deep dark, deep below to go and find us some crystalline sulfur. I knew I should have grabbed it when I saw it down there before. Um, as it was in the last episode, episode before that, maybe. But I knew I should have grabbed it, and I didn't, and I'm sorry. That one's entirely my fault. I should have, and I didn't. So now we get to travel back down here again after the thing that I should have already had. But it's cool, because we get to hang out in everybody's favorite, the Blood Kelp Zone. I gotta say, this place is significantly less creepy the more you visit it. Um, like the first... I, I do remember the first time I ever played Subnautica and I came down here uh, for myself. I, I had seen other people play it, of course. Um, as I, I didn't have a computer that could run Subnautica for a while. I, it took me a little while to save up and pick one out that I liked and finally buy it and everything else like that. I, I, I tend to be kind of picky with things, but, uh, am I lost? I'm a little lost. Um, but anyways, I... I remember first time I came down here. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. How you doing? How you doing? Yes, I can see your heart beating. And it is awful. Oh, see what that jerk just did to me? It wasn't nice at all, was it? Tell you what, you want to hold still? I just want to grab a quick selfie. No? Okay. I mean, that's his choice. Yeah, you can't can't force somebody to take a picture with you. That's just rude. Yeah, first time coming down here. Um, absolutely horrifying. I'm going to get you this time. I'm going to sneak up behind you and get me a picture. <coughs> yeah. Ah, oh, so close! Where'd he go? <laughs> Lame! Ah, uh, so close. It's like another second, and I would have got. But uh, yeah, no. First time you come down here, this place is scary. It's just plain scary. It's very spooky. It's very horrible. All right, crystalline sulfur likes to hang out in the green pits. So, uh, yeah. You know, eyes open. Hello, brain crab. I still hate you. I'm probably gonna have to go into the green in order to find what I'm after. I don't want to because it hurts. Even with the reinforced suit, which I think is a little interesting because the reinforced suit stops me from being hurt by uh, being in close proximity to lava. So it's heat resistant, but apparently not sulfur resistant. At least I think that's what this green gooey stuff is made out of. Some kind of sulfur or sulfur based thing. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'm completely wrong about all that. Could be. Stranger things have happened. Um, let's see. Is this the one that I went into with Jerry that went for a ways? No. No, you are not. See, and it even hurts Lucy. Like, even Lucy can't be down in this stuff for, like, a large length of time. Okay, here's the 
stuff that I need, and we're just gonna hop out real quick, grab them fast, and back up into Lucy. And then us and Luce are getting up out of there as fast as we can. Go ahead and heal up Lucy. My health will grow back, as is its want. Um, but I still need some more. It's just hard to see. And I'm sure someone is screaming at their monitor right now, like, just bring their prawn suit or whatever. It's easy to collect. There's big deposits of it that you can just collect loads at a time and so much simpler. And I'm doing this the dumb way, but it's the only way I know how. I died. Oh my gosh. I completely spaced that my health was dropping that fast. Oh, and I have not saved in a while. Oh, where are you going to drop me? Which base? This base. I died and lost some belongings. All that delicious crystalline sulfur that I had. Uh-oh. Oh, this could be problematic. Lucy is way deep. Lucy is way deep. Deeper than I think I can swim outright. Hmm. <coughs> This could be an issue, ladies and gentlemen. This could indeed be an issue. I mean, I have loads of air. I have the highest yield tank in the game. But that doesn't exactly help me down there. There aren't any brain things that I'm aware of that I can refill my air on. So this is gonna have to be in a single straight shot to Lucy. Here we go. Let's go refill. So we're starting at the maximum possibility. And down we go. We are going to hit it with everything we've got. Fast as possible. While also kind of keeping my eyes peeled. Because if there is a brain thing that pumps air. You know what I'm talking about. The... One of those? No. Not one of those. Uh, one of those weird, poofy, purplish, ringed, orifice-y... I know how horrible I'm making it sound, and I apologize. Um, things that just releases air periodically. If I can find one of those, I'll feel better. Alright, we're not quite at a quarter of air. And doing pretty well. Uh... I might have been a little bit more afraid of this than I needed to be. Assuming I don't get lost again, go around in circles down here for a while. Did I immediately get lost? I know I'm not headed in the direction of Lucy, but I am headed down. And I know that down is the more important part for this beginning step. But yeah, now the warpers come out to play. Now that I'm on a bit of a rush... Oh, this brought me into a totally different place than where I actually wanted to go. Brought me to the brain crabs. That was nice of it. Not really. But still. Um, I also think that means that I'm on the other side of a ghost leviathan from Lucy. I mean, yes, it's just a baby, but still. Alright. 
Got about a third of my air left and 450 and closing meters to go to Lucy. I'm feeling pretty good. If I can make it past the Ghost Leviathan, then this should be fairly easy. And then all my stuff should be just uh, right outside of where Lucy is. Who hopefully won't blow up while I'm doing this. I'll keep this as close to the ground as possible. Trying to avoid you. Alright. 150 meters in closing. Don't die, Lucy. I left you under the sulfur, but don't die. 30 seconds. Yep. Woo! Oh, that was close. <coughs> A little too close. All right, Lucy. Let's get you back up to snuff. Okay, this time not being stupid and paying a little bit more attention to my health. Why is it reading like Lucy's still in the sulfur? Lucy's not in the sulfur. Okay. There's some of my stuff. There's three out of four, which is all I think I had. I don't think I had all four yet. Did I? I don't remember. Um, I think we're going to continue this journey all the way to Franklin. First of all, because I think I need to get Lucy into the moon pool to get the sulfur burn effect to leave. Oh, here's another. What are you? Oh, I don't care what you are. There's a... Grab you. Into Lucy! Out of the sulfur. Okay. Never mind. Don't need to go to Franklin. Need to... Uh, go back to my regular base. Where all of my things are. There's a fun little romp for us. You know? Just die. Have to swim. Uh, 800-ish... Well, 700, I'll we'll say 750 meters down just off of my air tank with a sea glide. Wonder if I could have made it all the way back to my regular base. I don't think I could have. I, I think that's too far. Or not my regular base, my deep base. All the way back to Franklin. I do not believe that I could have made it back to Franklin. Um, I think that would have really been stretching it probably too far. God, brain crabs everywhere. Like I said, they, they wouldn't be such a pain if they didn't have their stupid little EMP thing. What happened there? I saw you, Warper. Where'd you go? I'm being chased by a brain crab. I'll finish my scan of you warpers. You mark my words. Is that the music? Or does there just happen to be... Like a ghost leviathan or some crap around me. Is Lucy just going to die? Like, is this sulfur thing never going to go away? If I, if I get to the moon pool. Or maybe... I don't know. I don't know. My armor keeps going down. Damn, all the way down to 42. 41, even. Um... I don't know, how close are we to the surface? We're in a safe area, so let's breach the gap and see if that helps clean you off.
No? Red. Alright, I'm gonna have to get out and repair you again. I just leave you in there too long? Uh, this could be problematic. I don't want Lucy to die. The sulfur effect is still burning. That's a glitch. I think. Maybe not. Maybe it's intended. Maybe it... Maybe because I left Lucy down in the sulfur for so long, that's just what happens now, and it's going to take a good long while before it stops. Or maybe I just need to save the game, exit out, reload, and come back in, and it'll be fine. I don't know. Get out of Lucy. That's still burning. <sighs> Alright, hang on just a second. I'm going to pause for just a moment, and then when I come back, we'll see if this is still working or if I fixed it or not. Okay, so I exited the game. I came back into the game. Lucy is no longer burning. So that does appear to have fixed it. Back to 100%. Good, good, good. We have saved Lucy by forcing the game to not be glitched out. Hooray! All right. I needed four of you. One, two, three, four. Uh, you're not the locker I put everything in. No, this is the locker I put everything in. All right. Uh, cool. So, of all the things... Let's go build this, our next piece of the Neptune rocket. Mm, tally four. Oh, go away, map. I don't like the map being there. Um, I'm sure other people, I, I don't know, other players, people that play this game, they probably like the map being there. I know I get lost a lot, so you would think I would love the map being there. But, honestly, not a fan. Uh, we can go ahead and get rid of you and throw you on there. Needs a Cyclops shield generator, enameled glass, I called it, and a computer chip. I don't have any of these things except for the computer chip. <coughs> but I totally called the enameled glass. Oh, why am I looking at it from down here? We have an elevator just on this other side that'll take me right up to the top and let us get a look-see at this big bad boy. Come on. <coughs> well, aren't you pretty? Oh, I can even enter it already. Cool. Oh, there's storage? And bring stuff with me? There's a communications array. Let's turn you on, I guess. Communications systems array active. Hydraulic, auxiliary power. Uh, I don't want to turn any of the rest of this stuff on yet. Not until I get the cockpit finished. Just in case it uses batteries, since, you know, it took batteries to build it. You know, as I say that <coughs> out loud, I realize that I just turned something on and left it. And the sound screwed up again. Cool. Oh, here we go. Defaulted back to Subnautica Music Basic. So, uh, let's actually go ahead and turn the communications off. I can't. Okay, well, can I... There doesn't appear to be battery access anywhere either, so... I'm just going to assume that means that it won't run out of power. It's got the big boy super battery 
ion cell power things in it anyway, so that should be fine, right? I did not tell you to do the repulsion cannon. If anything, I want to build a stasis rifle next. But for right now, <clears throat> I want to finish this bad boy off. <coughs> yes, 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 thank you. I'm guessing that the Cyclops shield generator... Um, but that's not something that I can build not being on the Cyclops. Maybe it is. I don't know. We'll know more here in a minute. But right now, I'm thinking it's coffee time. And also some more delicious lantern fruits. So, while the coffee is going, let's uh, let's see about that lantern fruits. Delicious. And now for my coffee. Ah, thank you very much. Real Americano Espresso. <laughs> it's kind of interesting because, um... Well, I... I don't usually drink Americano. So... Got nothing against it, I just... It's not my favorite. Um, espressos are fine. I, I will drink an espresso. Um, I don't have anything against them, necessarily. I just, uh, I, I don't know. I'm, my, my brother calls me a coffee heathen. As I, I drink regular, like, Folgers coffee and a regular cup and everything else like that. And he's, he's a little more fancy. He's got, he's got a French press. He's got, you know, decent coffee. He actually spends money on his coffee. I don't spend money on my coffee more than necessary, at least. All right. What's it take to build the Cyclops shield thing? Cyclops shield generator. Advanced wiring kit, polyaniline, and a power cell. Hey, I just so happen to have one of those extra back down in the, back down in the base. What about the polyaniline? Uh, is that the one that I need the blood sack for? No, just golden hydrochloric acid. So I can make that. Um, might have used all my gold. You know, it takes salt. What was it three salt? No, salt and deep shroom. Where did I get gold from? Takes three deep shrooms. <coughs> and then gold and hydrochloric acid makes polyaniline. Which, once again, I think I've used all of my gold. I have copper. But I'm pretty sure I'm out of gold. I need to find gold. I need to remember where I've hidden my computer chip from myself. <coughs> and make sure that I have enough lithium. I have enough lithium. I need you and a table coral sample and gold. Oh, no, I just need the computer chip. I, I don't need you. Or you. Um, so yeah, need gold. And you know what that means. That means we have to turn the scanner room back on to look for gold. <laughs> or sandstone chunks. But this should work. Because it should point me in the direction of sandstone chunks that specifically have gold. Hopefully. I may be wrong. It may be pointing me in the direction of a, uh, I don't know, of something else. It 
Yeah, these things. This brain coral. That's the breathy thingy that's name I couldn't remember. Uh, now I can't see where the gold went. Where did the gold go? Where did the gold go? I just had it, didn't I? Am I crazy? I must be. Okay, well, this is not going to work out, I guess. So we'll take it off of that since that disappeared. And we'll put it onto uh, sandstone chunks. I was kind of hoping that that would simplify the process, but it just disappeared. Oh, I know what happened. Uh, it's nighttime, and I'm sure I'm out of mushrooms. Yep. So let's throw some lantern fruits in there. I mean, it's got to be better than nothing. Right? Then I can just eat the other four. <coughs> <coughs> yep, swirly, swirly, filly, filly. Fill them up and make them good. This is why it disappeared, because this thing lost power. So, uh, let's just go sandstone chunks. And it's only got to last me until tomorrow. As soon as the daylight comes out, then, uh... All systems online. Alright, and hopefully it doesn't take too terribly long to start finding us sandstone chunks. In the meantime, what else did I need for that? Uh, da -da -da -da, whole reinforcement, cyclones, cyclops stuff. Um, I guess in the meantime we can. Oh, there we go. Let's go ahead and get this done, and then we can worry about going back down and getting the rest of our goodies. Where? What? Okay. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Hopefully this one's gold. Hey, look at there. Only needed one. Right? Like just enough to combine with the uh, hydrochloric acid that I already have to make the polyaniline. Yeah, so um, unless the advanced wiring kit needs gold, which of course it does, and also silver. So good thing we're looking for sandstone. Because I need most of the things that it produces. Gold, silver. Only thing I don't need that it produces is lead. So naturally, I'm sure I'll get lead. Yep. Called it. Ah. I'm not sure that the game is vindictive by nature or programming or if it just doesn't like me sometimes. Bunch of sandstone chunks down that way. I'm not sure how to get into the caves where I'm sure it's all hiding. There's some silver. Cool. So I need two more gold and one more silver. One titanium. We still need loads of titanium. Uh, probably good a spot as any to try. So I think it's all pretty much just down in caves at this point. Like, I don't know that there's necessarily all that much of it that's just hanging out out here. Lead. Don't need lead. I don't know why I keep picking up the lead. Bloop. 
Silver. Okay, so two more gold. Two more gold and we are home free. It's lead. Ooh, there's some salvage, huh? Need you. Need you for another plasteel ingot. Nothing in you to scan for titanium. Okay. <coughs> oh. Oh, this cough could just go away and be done with me, and I'd be way happier. I don't believe you two sandstone chunks over there. I went over there and you weren't there. You didn't exist. You lied to me! Or maybe it was these two. Maybe you three are cool. Or no. I'm willing to give it a try. I'm willing to risk it. Uh, this episode might end up being a little bit long because I want to get this totally finished up before I call it again. Oh, this one's on one of their weird bubbly ones. One gold. A silver, don't actually need you. This never hurts to have extra. Oh, lead! Lead! Come on! You can be out in the open, or you can be down underneath something. Okay, you're out in the open. I just gotta hit the brakes a little bit when you... Gold! Hooray! Get off of my girl, Lucy! Alright, back to base. At least I can get everything... Well, no, I can't get everything finished up because still need more titanium. Man, so many things. So many bits and bobs and bobbles and pieces and parts. It's just boggling. How's this going? I was like, grab another one to throw in there. I mean... It's not like I'm at a shortage of them or anything. Okay, advanced materials, polyaniline. Cool. Electronics. Wiring kit. Advanced wiring kit. Alright, and then the only thing I need to do is hop back downstairs and grab my extra power cell. <coughs> Um, didn't I have one more computer chip in one of these? Or is it over here in Lucy? There's nothing in Lucy. <coughs> Did I use my last computer chip? But I have the stuff to... No, it's right here. Duh. I knew I had another one around here somewhere. Um, and then the enamel glass. I have any quartz hanging out. I don't think I do. <sighs> well, I don't know. This episode's running long anyway, so I'm going to call it here. Um, thank you guys so very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I don't know. We're still trying to just work it through. This is ending up taking a little bit more than I remembered it having to take initially, but once again, I haven't actually beat this game uh, in probably two years-ish. I don't know. Might have been a little bit longer. It's, it has been so long that uh, this is not the same computer that I was playing it on the first time. Like when I was talking earlier about saying like, oh, I finally got a computer that could run it and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm on a totally different setup now. So, like, new things, new places. I've even gotten a couple achievements that I've gotten the last time that I've re-gotten again now. And I'm not even sure how that works, because it's the same Steam account. Um, I, I don't know, maybe the new computer, new memory, I, I'm not sure how it works exactly. 
But uh, once again, thank you guys so very much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, please leave it a like. Please leave it a comment. I love hearing back from you guys. I love chatting with you guys in the comments. It just really kind of brings the whole community together. Let's me know what's going on out there and what more you guys would like to see. Uh, I am Papa Grimgrin signing off until the next episode. Bye-bye.